okay so the sad part is that this starter is a little different than my starter okay my starter it has a little different housing they both look the same but it has a different housing see how this one is now this one see where the pinion is at on this one how it's uh, positioned now look at this one it's totally opposite so that's bad in the meantime i've been testing these both starters and this brand new one works as it should uh i'll show you uh, what happens and I'll show you what's wrong with this old one uh, it's pretty crazy uh, but you have to make sure that you replace your starter ASAP and stop driving uh, otherwise you can damage the flywheel okay so I have the battery positive here connected to this red cable and then this is grounded right here the black one is ground and now I'm gonna use a screwdriver and I'm just gonna touch from this terminal to that you see what happens okay it works so what I want to show you is I want to show you how this pinion gear comes out and how it shoots back as soon as you release the screwdriver okay so I just need you to compare both of these I need you to, I need you to bear with me uh, and right now I'm testing this new starter and I just want you to see and look how quickly it comes out um, as soon as you I touch the screwdriver to the positive battery you have to watch how quickly this pinion gear comes out and then when I release the screwdriver how quickly it comes back all right and then we're gonna compare that to the old one all right I'll let you know uh, I'm about to do it so watch it closely you see how quickly it comes back one more time You see that one more time I'm sorry I wasn't holding the screwdriver steady so let me try again okay one two three okay you see that now uh, we're gonna compare this to this old one the original starter and see what this one, this one is doing okay so let's connect this one right there positive right there and then it's gonna be a little more difficult on this one just because it's on the opposite side like I said so I have to touch the screwdriver there and then show you okay and then you're gonna do the same thing you're gonna watch this pinion gear okay once I touch it try again oops This starter is so strong, I have to like hold it with one foot because it's trying to come off. Do you see that delay? Of the pinion as soon as i release the screwdriver the pinion gear doesn't come out doesn't come back uh right away it has like a delay this is really bad this is what was happening in my case and it was trying to damage my flywheel so that's really bad okay i'm gonna touch this thing again and try again okay this is original uh, this is original starter motor from 1985 and uh let's see let's try this again so you can see okay one second ah come on where is it at you see that it doesn't come back right away try again yep so that is the problem ladies and gentlemen the starter is no good and um, thank god I caught it on time I didn't damage the flywheel or anything like that I just need to install a new starter motor and unfortunately this is the wrong starter motor I think maybe this is from M110 engine or something like that or maybe uh, I can't tell 
uh, but it sucks you know I was hoping to install it and just uh, run the engine tonight because I already reinstalled uh, you know the feed line for the turbo and I'll, I'll run it without the exhaust for right now because I just want to see make sure everything is good but also clean that area up right there it's all nice and good cleaned up but right now I have to go back to the parts store uh, and order a new starter again uh, yeah I don't know maybe just uh, it was a coincidence or something I don't know uh, but yeah this it's really sucks but um, as soon as I get a new starter I will once again test it before installation and then I'll get back to you guys it might be a little bit uh, but for you guys it will be probably really fast I'm gonna show you the progress uh, I already installed a brand new starter I finally got a, got the right starter for this thing it's sitting right there okay uh, and it's a uh, it's a Bosch starter um, and I already reconnected everything uh, all the bolts and I also put the copper paste on all the bolts uh, before installing them and inst I also installed you know 12 volt uh, all those uh, electrical connections uh, uh, are good I installed uh, the uh, uh, cranking wire and uh, you know the battery cable on it as well and right now I'm gonna actually show it to you make sure that there's nothing in the way uh, nothing in the turbo because I, I had the turbo plugged up but right now I took the rag out and I'm about to start it up the battery is uh, reconnected and I'll show you how this thing runs there's gonna be some smoke here because no exhaust I'm actually refurbishing the exhaust as well on it so before we jump on to you know replacing or removing the turbo and stuff like that I want to make sure that it's running good and that it starts up and there we don't have that weird grinding issue okay like uh, unfortunately I didn't film it uh, when that happened but it was really it's it's a really weird problem you know when you would crank it it would crank but then the pinion gear on the starter mode itself it wouldn't come back right away so that caused grinding against the flywheel which is bad so as soon as you let the, go the key that pinion uh, gear should actually slide out like really fast slide back but on that original starter motor it was actually there there was a delay so you would uh, release the key and that pinion would still go kind of like this and then it would come back uh to its original position so that was causing the flywheel uh, you know it's 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 good thing i caught it on time and make sure if you have this problem stop driving don't even try to crank the engine and go uh, to this problem and uh, you know prevent damaging the flywheel uh so in my case everything is amazing i'm about to start this engine show you how it's running and make sure you know we're gonna make sure that there's no more grinding noises coming from the starter motor area and flywheel 